DIY with Carmen Lebron. I'm here showing you something so simple. You can do it yourself at the house or whatever you add with simple materials. So right now what I have here is a t-shirt. T-shirt and I'm just gonna draw like a sunglass. You can draw whatever you would like to draw. Like here, this is like an example that you can see. This one is another one. So it's different things that you can do with a t-shirt. <laughs> you can turn everything into a pillow with just simple stuff. So here, a paint. It could be whatever color you would like. Scissors, a brush, um, measurement tape or a ruler, it don't matter. And something for you to draw what you would like to paint. So let's start, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint what I draw here that is just the sunglasses. So be careful so it doesn't transfer to the back of the t-shirt. So try to just put it uh, separate. So you just paint that side. So let's go ahead and paint. And remember, you can draw whatever you would like. It could be a happy face or anything, a flower. <laughs> so let's start with it. Real simple. And then you can show it to the family. Hey, I did a pillow with only a t shirt. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start with the next step. And with another, another piece of this. We can clean this excess of, uh, it could be pencil, chalk, whatever you use to draw your, your, your design, your drawing. You can use a chalk and then later on you can just erase it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so while that is uh, drying, what we're gonna do co to continue the process and you already know that you can just create your own design or anything like that. We are going to choose, we're going to take another t-shirt like this one. Remember, the one that I put aside, you can draw, you can do anything. When you finish drying that shirt, this is the next step that we're going to do. You're going to go and get a pillow from your house. This is the, the thing that is going to help you to measure your t-shirt whenever you cut it. So we can just put it like this or like this, it's up to you. So here I'm gonna place my pillow next to it. All right, two and a half inches. So now you know, you can start cutting it. And now that we have the square completely done, what we're gonna do is just like, here we're gonna do like a square. You can just take the, the extra, the square that you cut, and put it here so you can guide yourself. You can also use a ruler or anything just to guide yourself and you don't be cutting too long or too short. So you can just go ahead and place your, your ruler. And knowing that from here to the bottom, that's when you're gonna end when you when you cut so we're just gonna cut uh, stretch just like maybe half half an inch right, we're almost there cutting this side we finished with it but now we have to cut the, the rest and then we put the ruler on the side same thing. So you see, this is what we have done already. So you know that in the next side, you do the same thing that we were doing. So I have another one that I already finished cutting. So I can just show it to you guys. But remember, you just continue doing the same thing. So 
So let's say that this is the black one. So I already finished that. And this is another one that I created with another drawing. Let me put this aside. This is the simple thing that you're gonna do. It's just like, you're gonna uh, stretch a little bit. The straps that you cut, you just go ahead and stretch. Stretch them. So now we have this ready. So now we're gonna choose this pillow. <laughs> we're gonna put it inside. I think this is more easy because maybe with the cotton balls, you might have to buy like, who knows, three bags or four big bags to <laughs> fill everything. And look how it looks. So if you continue doing it, this is how it's gonna end. Ta-da! <laughs> and this is, you know, you can read it. I really my touch. You a question? Must ask you a question, you get me. So this, I use the pillow, like I'm using here. I use a pillow, but if you would like to use a uh, cotton balls, you can use it too. But I prefer the pillow as a pillowcase because you can change it every single time you would like to change the house or the furniture or anything like that. The pillow with the, with the cotton balls, it might take a little bit of while and you might have to spend more money. So I hope you enjoy this class, this simple thing that you can do at the house, teach your kids, and yeah, it's gonna be so much fun and you're gonna enjoy it. Thank you! <laughs>